What's going on guys? Welcome back to Gadgets123. Thanks again for the like, comment, subscriptions. You guys have been awesome. Thanks again for the support. On the road to 1,000 subs, so we are pretty much almost there guys. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and we're doing a giveaway and we'll tell you more about that at the end of the video once we reach a thousand subs. So this is the gadgets one two three tips. So let me write that here real quick. Forgot to do that. Tips. And this is for the unable to activate error part two. Now, if you haven't seen part one, please check out part one. I'm going to link that in the description. We got been getting a lot of positive feedback on though on that video. And hopefully you guys have been using that information to get your phone taken care of. Again this is not something you have to do uh in regards to getting it you know um a jailbreak or anything like that uh, pretty much uh, apple will honor the uh, issue and have it replaced for you again more of that information is on part one again click on the description click on the link below for more information part two is just a continuation of part one where we left off so last time you saw the video what we did was we took it and they said they were going to replace it however it had a crack on it so what we did is the following we had the cracked replace we put in an actual brand new screen on the phone again it was an original iPhone screen not a third party just because if you put a third party you there might be a chance I don't know if they're you know they, they even check the phones they actually open them up but there might be a chance that it might get rejected and why take that chance when you could just literally replace the screen again that's for people that know if you don't know you would have to pay 150 to get it uh, swapped for a new phone but that's only if the screen is cracked if you have an actual working physically okay phone with that unable to activate error message Apple will honor the um, kind of recall they have on that model and replace it uh, free of charge so what we did was on our crack one we replaced it and we took it to Apple so let me show you that right now all right guys so we replaced the screen we're actually here at the mall right now so I see the screen is fixed we're gonna get this replaced Hey guys, we're here at the Apple Store. Here's the phone. Again, the that crack has been fixed, and we're waiting. Pretty much all my friends, some of them, all my friends have Apple. Really? I'm like, man, you go to Apple, man. Um. Alright guys, we're coming out of uh, the mall right now, and uh, yep, it went through. Um, now, there's two things. If the phone does not have warranty, which if it's an iPhone 7, most of, uh, most of the time it will not have warranty unless you guys have it, they're going to send it for repair. In other words, they'll ship you a new phone in about two weeks. If it does have warranty, then you'll be able to get the phone uh, instantly. So mine's in a high warranty. Again, it's an older phone, iPhone 7. So basically what you have to do is wait two weeks. And what, the, what they'll do is they'll give you a, a, a loaner phone if you want to. Um, or they'll just ship uh, the new phone. I did not want a loaner phone because I don't want to come back and return it. So they're just going to ship me uh, either a replacement phone or a new phone and that's it um, I'll update the video when I get the replacement phone but everything went through they took it they said it's uh, covered under their warranty and it's gonna get taken care of so again if you need a phone instantly they'll give you a loaner phone hope this helped guys all right let's go back all right guys so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little tour we did of the actual mall once we took the repaired iPhone to the Apple Store. Again, we couldn't record a lot of the information they told us, but kind of broke it down to you 
right now. So, Apple, like we stated before, Apple will replace it free of charge. Now, there's a couple of conditions. If not under warranty, will need to be serviced and sent via mail or picked up at store. So in other words, if your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus of those models have that error message and do not have any kind of Apple Care or any kind of warranty, which most likely they won't because um, it's been a couple of years already since the Apple 7 came out. So you got to think about it's probably about three years or yeah, probably about three or four years. So the chances of you having any kind of warranty or apple care or whatever is pretty much limited if you have an iphone 7 you probably don't have that so what's going to happen is they won't be able to give you swap it right away once you take it to the apple store what they'll tell you is basically oh it doesn't have warranty so what we have to do is t you know have it sent to the uh wherever they send these phones to get repaired and you're going to get a phone via mail or you come pick it up at the store when it's ready now the good news is if you do need a phone right away they'll give you a loaner phone for the they say two weeks uh, mine's came in about roughly about seven to eight business days but if you do need a phone and you have no phone they'll give you a loaner phone and when the, your phone is ready you have to drop off the phone so you you know um, return that uh, loaner phone keep in mind that if you want to have it sent via mail. If you get that loaner phone, you still have to go to the store and drop it off. So if you don't want to go back to the store and drop off the phone because it's far from where you are or whatever, uh, I don't recommend you getting a loaner phone and just having it replaced and having them send it to you via mail. And you're not worrying about returning the loaner phone or cracking it or whatever. So again, either way, it's up to you guys if you guys decide to do either or. Now, in regards to credit, they did tell me that if I decided to get anything else for the iPhone 7 with that error message, I didn't have to wait for an actual replacement. They would give me $150 for the small iPhone 7 towards the purchase of any other phone or tablet or whatever, uh, MacBook, whatever they have over there. Uh, in regards to the iPhone 7 Plus, you would get a $200 credit for that as well. So, if you intend to upgrade and you get that error message, do not sell that phone or do not throw it in the trash or, you know, don't do nothing with it. Take it to an Apple store, you will get $150 credit towards the purchase of any other phone or whatever they have over there with that error message. They would not because since that's some sort of recall they'll honor that and give you 150 dollars and last if your phone is cracked like ours was you got two choices they will replace it but you still have to pay them 150 dollars to get the screen replaced i don't know why because they're, they're basically going to give you another phone even if it's a refer phone but you still have to pay them 150 50 dollars or you could pretty much have it replaced via third party or you replace it yourself with an original you know um screen and you you kind of bypass that 150 and probably pay 50 bucks to have it replaced and then take it to the apple store and tell them hey doesn't work it's getting that unable to activate error message and they'll just tell you that to come back in either two weeks or they'll mail it to you and have it replaced so that's the information i got hopefully this will help you guys make your own decision if you guys want to have it replaced or service or whatever but i do recommend if your phone has no cracks take it to apple and have them taking care of it it's free of charge it's just gonna take you a little while to get there you know a couple you know a little bit of leg work you have to do but you'll get a brand new phone well at least a brand new refurbished phone and before i go want to show you here it is here's the actual package that i got uh, that's why I kind of delayed on the video because it took a couple of days for this to come about eight business days and They did send me the actual phone. Well, they actually sent me another phone. The serial number is totally different But here's the Apple care as you can see it says Apple care Here's the information the serial number on this phone is totally different. It's the same color as the one I gave them But definitely this is a different phone than the one we took Originally it has the same number of gigs 128 gigs as the one that we took and as you could see, it tells you right here the serial number. See, the original serial number ended in seven. In uh, started with F4H. The the one they gave they gave me is starts with FX5. So overall, it's a different serial number. So this is probably another refer phone. 
but at least it works and it is actually you know looks good looks brand new pretty much no real issues and this one doesn't have any of the problems that the other one had so again it does work guys so if you have any kind of problems do not go out trying to get this you know gel broken or this or that just take it to an apple store have it replaced free of charge it might take a couple of days but at least you get a brand new refurbished phone but guys if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe you guys are awesome if you guys seen to the end of the video thank you very much thanks for all the support we will be doing a giveaway at when we reach a thousand subs from the first review we did to the last review we did we're going to pick a couple of different items that we review put it in a box and one lucky person will get that box we'll show the box on our 1000 video sealed and we'll decide um if you comment on that video we'll decide uh, we'll, we'll raffle we'll you know raffle uh the names into a generator and pick one <laughs> see who wins and then we'll announce it either on the on our twitter account or facebook or pretty much twi twitter facebook and youtube in our first video after the 1000 video so hopefully you could join us for that all you have to be is a subscriber to the channel if you subscribe to the channel before we pass 1000 videos then you'll be eligible to be in that giveaway Anybody that subscribes after 1,000 video, then you guys have to wait for the next giveaway. I have to be fair to the people that have supported us from the beginning to when we reach 1,000 subs just because they've been here from the very first start. So it's a big thank you to you guys for going through the ups and downs of this channel. All right, guys. Again, thank you again for everything, guys. If you get this unable to uh, activate error message, you know do a little leg work just take it to the closest apple store you guys have and they'll take care of that for free don't need to be wait be wasting any money on doing other things or breaking your head and trying to kind of format this phone jailbreak this thing you definitely gonna get a brand new refurbished phone from them and you'll be good to go again all right guys thanks again for watching see you guys on the next video Ooh, talk to you guys later